Hey, what's up guys? Jeff Richardson here, talking about stamps. Uh, bring you something a little bit different today. I want to talk about, is stamp collecting a good investment? But before I get started, I want to give a shout out to my friend Jean-Claude. Uh, he brought me this catalog yesterday, and I just have to do a comparison video. And it's the best way to tell if something is a good investment or not. Also, I want to give a shout out to my subscribers. Y'all really get me through this. I mean, uh, y'all really make this worthwhile. I mean, I, I'm blown away by the views uh, that I get. Thank you all so much. You all are awesome. Never forget that. Uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, we're all learning a little bit of something together because since I started doing this, I've learned more about geography, uh, history than I ever did in school. So, and also, you know, I got some subscribers that leave me a lot of comments, uh, and they really feel, fill in a lot of details for me. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names or Mr. Taylor. I mean, uh, but you know, thank you all so much. I, I really, I really appreciate y'all. Uh, y'all really make this worthwhile. So today we're going to compare the Scott number 594 from 1942 to Scott number 594, 2012. So I don't have a catalog newer than that, so this will have to do. So let's get started. Uh, in 1942, Scott number 594, we all recognize this guy, Franklin. Now, a lot of people think that, you know, you see this Franklin stamp and you have a holy grail. You have money, money, money. Not always the case. Uh, that's why there is rarities. So, there is 13 different Franklin stamps. Different colors, different perforations, different paper, different year. But, this is... What we're talking about today is Scott number 594. This is only one of the versions of that Franklin stamp. Now, if you've never looked at a Scott catalog before, this is Scott number 594 right here. This is the picture, A155. Okay, this is one cent green. This is a PERF 11 stamp. That means it's PERF 11 all the way around. So unused in 1942 would have been worth $2,500. That's a lot of money back in 1942. Used, it would have been worth $300. All right. And I mean, you know, $2,500 back in 1942. Yeah, you, you could buy a lot with $2,500. So. This is 1942. So now we're going to get into Scott number or uh, Scott catalog 2012. So let me open this guy up. And you know, y'all really do uh, make this worthwhile. I mean, I really like doing this stuff for y'all. And I've, I enjoy this a lot more than I ever thought. So, Franklin, right here, A155 again. Hey, th this, this book has got color, right? <laughs> so, it's much easier to check them out and uh, compare, things like this. So, anyway, uh, we're looking for Scott number 594. So, we're going to come over here, and we're going to look at Scott number 594, right here. Now, same number, A155. Like I said, there's 13 different versions of this. And you're going to find it throughout different pages after that picture throughout this book. But this is only one of the versions of A155. Scott number 594 from 1923. It's a one cent green. In 1942, unused was $2,500. In 2012, 
$35,000. Used was $300 in 1942. In 2012, $10,500. Now, you find that bad boy with some gum, and I'm not talking about chewing gum, I'm talking about the original gum paste that was on it. That guy's worth $65,000. Now, this is in 2012. Now, prices could have shifted a little bit, uh, went up. I'm sure, you know, they all fluctuate. But always remember, it's only worth what somebody will actually pay for it. And that's on anything. Anything in life, right? So, the question is, is stamp collecting a good investment? I would say from 1942, $2,500 to $35,000, that's a great investment. Take me to the bank. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you all. Watch for my new videos. Please like, comment, share, and whatever you do, please subscribe. I really need you to subscribe. Please help me out. Watch for my new videos. Thank you all so much. Y'all are great. Never forget that. Have a great day.